All right, last quick topic before we get into the Q&A. The Q&A is pretty short. Um, monthly subscriptions. So I sent out uh, a tweet about this I had like a week or two ago. Like, hey, if you're ever wondering where all of your money goes every single month, audit your bank statement and look at all of the tiny little subscriptions that you have and add them up and see how much of your month that actually takes up. And personal wise, it's disgusting. Uh, just streaming related, um, I did a quick add up of all of the things that it takes for me to do what I need to do on Twitch. And uh, more or less, you can kind of argue that some of these are needs and some of these are, are wants. Um, but I want to be totally transparent with this because I think it's super important. So between having a Google account, that it is uh, Google Apps so that you can have your own domain within Google. Um, <clears throat> a better TTV subscription for custom emotes. Uh, a TeamSpeak server. Um, a subscription to Amazon Music um, to be able to play music through the Amazon Echo. Um, the Zoom. Oh, shut up, Echo. The Zoom app in order for us to do this video conferencing for the podcast. Discord Nitro. Again, not a a need, but it definitely makes a lot of things easier when you're trying to create content. Um, web hosting for the website, the Adobe Creative Suite, and three Twitch subs. So that's me only subscribing to three other streamers. $120 a month. Holy fuck. How, what about Twitch Prime? That is probably, I saw 120 divided by 12. 10 a month. 10 a month. Another 10 on top of that. Um, and there's probably, I mean, like, what am I paying, you know, for the bank account that is attached to all this stuff? Like what other fees am I finding yeah. there? You're um, increased, uh, you're increased, uh, uh, if you pay a tax person to take care of all of your, uh, your Twitch taxes, which if, I if do that's like a separate piece. Right. Yep. And then you also have on top of that, if you're paying for a, a better package with your ISP to stream, which I'm sure every one of us is doing. Yeah, maybe you need a bump on your cellular plan for data because you're doing a lot of um, content creation out and about. Right. So in a hundred, wait, so you're at a hundred and what fifty dollars, hundred and sixty bucks a month? About around yeah. that. Yeah. So let's say it, let's say it's hundred and fifty bucks a month. There, all of those things are positive, right? You don't need all of those things. Like you don't need Twitch Prime. Uh, you don't need the Discord Nitro. There's a lot of things in there that you could you could dwindle out, but by streaming. You can add all those things. Like if I'd stream four or five hours a day or two hours a day or whatever it is, or two hours every three to five days, whatever it is, right? Whatever the number is. If I can pay for a better internet plan based on the time that I'm spending streaming because I'm already playing games, that's going to just increase the quality of everything that else, else that I'm doing on the internet, right? right? So streaming is a great thing to help you pay for other things. If, if you know, you're normally taking that out of your, you know, your, your income from your full-time job. But it's that's what, crazy. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, I was going to say that's basically where a lot of my stream income goes. It goes toward other subscription. All my entertainment stuff, like internet, uh, all my like Hulu, Netflix, like all that sort of shit. I basically pull everything out of like my my streaming money is basically where all that stuff. You know, when I my wife and I break down like our bills and everything else, yeah, it's yeah. like all right, here's where we're gonna pull everything from, and you know, with our budget and everything. Mm -hmm. Because we kind of lump it into entertainment, you know? So it's yeah. like, I pull all that out of that particular part of um, entertainment stuff. Like, the internet comes out of that, you know? Because I pay for the highest I can buy here. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But basically, you're saying what I do. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and, yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if you're going to spend $70 on your internet program and to upgrade to, you know, from 100 megs to 500 is an extra $15 a, a month, Streaming's a great like streaming pays for itself at the end of the day. That's that's mm -hmm. the best part about streaming is that it can eventually pay for itself, but it's it's still it can be a long shot. Like don't upgrade your internet package and stream for twelve hours a day hoping that some people are gonna come in and help exactly. you. Exactly. Yes. You gotta yeah. scale it. Yeah. yeah. So, so and to yeah. put that in perspective, around where I sit, which is anywhere in between like 70 and 110 subs, that is gross 250 bucks a month. So just yeah. Some of that stuff, obviously Amazon Prime. So let's remove that. Let's remove the Amazon Prime. Let's remove Discord Nitro. Um, everything else is kind of like things that not they're not necessary, but they enhance the experience. Like as a not partnered yeah. streamer, 
paying for Frank or face or BTTV is kind of a necessary thing to be yeah. able to get some custom emotes. Um, you know, a, a website for yourself, you know, a, a team speak server again, not an, it's team speak servers, like two, $2 and 50 cents a month, but that's a hundred bucks a month. That is just under half to just maintain what I'm doing online. That doesn't count the games that you have to buy in order to play on stream or yep. replacing hardware when it goes bad. And so like Jimmy was saying, you end up breaking even, but yeah, the greatest part about it is that you do break even. And then even after you break even, you are still creating entertainment for other people. You are still providing value for other people and other people's lives. So it's still, it's still a net positive yeah, yeah. thing. And if it can pay for, if this, if the hobby can support itself, so that I can continue doing what I'm doing to hopefully bring some joy to some yeah. other people's lives. It's, it's a plus hundred percent. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons why, and when it was funny, cause you know, I was talking to my wife about this sort of issue in the last year and, and she was just impressed. She was like, so basically you're all the money you spend on video games now is essentially just covered by streaming. Yeah. And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I love it. You know, because I mean, she knows I'm going to play nice video support. games. Did her blouse you know, suddenly yeah. burst open? Like, yeah. oh, yeah. So, I mean, but she's also she's pretty she's pretty cool lady. So she's she is pretty supportive. And um, yeah, we're know. all lucky. We're, we're three lucky guys. With yes, lucky. for sure. Yeah. That, is, that is for goddamn sure. OK, cool. Thank you very much for checking out this episode of the Crocs and Hot Pockets podcast. If you'd like to catch the show live, it airs on Twitch on my channel at twitch.tv slash knackers at 9 p.m. every single Sunday. If you would like to check out the most recent episode of the podcast, you can probably click this little box here. And if you feel like checking out some of our highlights, you can maybe click this little box down here. And maybe I'll even put a little thing for you to click right here. No? Bye.